you're going to start seeing nations come to the forefront. Now, in that, I have written four books that explain China. China will have another wonderful gift for us within the next three years. And don't try to rationalize this. You can't have a virus cover the world in a week time and be in 185 nations. Even viruses don't work like that. And they had that thing packaged, planned, and sent because God said in 1986, in 2020, they make their next move economically to rule the entire, be the strongest ruler economically in the world. They will also make another uh, shift by 2024. So we're going to have to get a little wiser as God's people and not just, here's something I don't want us to end up doing. God doesn't do anything that we're supposed to do. Don't, don't think God will just, just cause we're precious will take care of us. That is not what, we're, we're not down here just cause we're precious. And this becomes really important for us because the Lord, that's why John will be here after Armageddon is over. <laughs> Some of us end up being like that. I mean, we don't, we're not the type that's just going to be poofed out, you know. He's training us to withstand what is ahead. And listen, that's what I want to tell you over the next three years. We will be trained as a body. We will be very clear. We will know and have a level of discernment we've never had before. We will not be tossed to and fro. We will be filled with a love that is beyond comprehension. Therefore, we won't uh, judge the Chinese just because we know their government has a wrong motive. We won't judge because of the color of skin or the orientation of the root system of our inheritance. We're, going, we're in a big change right now that we're going through, and we will judge people by the Spirit, but we will know who la is laboring among us. Now, this becomes very, very key for us. Now, is bringing us into this incredible, go ahead, uh, this incredible new level of wisdom and new revelation. We're moving from just what we knew into a level of uncovering things we didn't know. And that's what revelation does. All of a sudden you just get something and it uncovers what you couldn't understand. And I keep Going back to Trenton, there is something where Trenton has uh, political authority from the beginning that is great, greater than Washington, D.C. Now, you need to uncover that. The Capitol three times? Have we ever dealt with that here? Y'all prayed about it. You're going to have to go up a notch with it. That is very key. Now, I knew York was the capital. I knew Philadelphia was the capital. I knew you, New York was the capital at one time. Trenton was capital three times. Now, but, but that doesn't matter. Queen for a day, I'm telling him. God's, God's doing something with that to start a whole new movement that changes the course of this nation that needs to be completed over the next year. And so we'll get in on that. Now, with that, what Satan is trying to do is to keep you from uncovering him. And that's what Revelation does. See, Satan, when Lucifer fell, he... He had rule over wealth. He had rule over sound. 
And it says in Ezekiel 28 that he uh, covered the earth with his rule. See, so that means he uses sound and wealth, and he still has these coverings over it. Well, that's what's being pulled off right now, the coverings off these things. Now, with that, let's move quickly, Chad, so we can get, get through this. Now, with that, we want to we know... Now, this is the first trip I've brought you on in ages. We don't, want new, we don't want the 13 colonies to fire you while you're here. Let's thank God for Chad. We miss him. He and I had to really go through some things. I mean, we had to really adjust since we had to adjust to being at home. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, seriously, now think about it. 300 days on the road, and then all of a sudden you're at home with 15 grandkids. <laughs> and all these kids that were one of the reasons I was on the road all that time. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a glorious, it really has been awesome getting to know my kids, watching the Lord recover time. And he always promised me that, that some way he would redeem the time I gave up. And he did it. Let's thank God for that. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy being more with my kids than being with anybody now. And, you know, I've gotten to know them, and I've watched each one come into the best that God has for him right now.